Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the church. This is the Market Beast Edition. Yes, this is your fellow competitor to speak. So the title may suggest a bullish trajectory here in the short term. Now, that's the key word, okay? Or two words, short term for Clorox. We're going to explore the range in which I think Clorox is heading over the next few weeks here. We'll get into the specifics, price targets, time frame, back test slash raise and eyebrow levels, as well as the bullish thumbnail is actually hidden in a bearish continuation. All right, we'll explore in more details in the video. So let's get right into it, guys. Welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we only explore price action. Thanks for sticking around, I'm loyal subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. So, so today's June the 1st. 2024 in the previous close of Clorox, $131.56, slightly positive 1.9% for the day. Okay. CLX is the instrument. Hopefully you guys are doing well, guys. This makes it a short video. So here are the levels, really simple, guys. Over the next three weeks, we are looking for a bullish move in the Clorox market. So 135 up to $144 is what you're seeing on the screen. That's going to be a 4.8% move to 135 as high as 9.6% all the way up to 144. So that's my interesting observation of what I'm able to depict from the indicators that I look at behind the scenes here. So that's what we're seeing over the next three weeks. Now, after that happens, we are looking for a bearish continuation now let's be clear to the long-term investors uh, this is a counter trend play please do not use a real account if you're going to use your sim account that's what we recommend highly okay because if we back out and you look at the overall picture of clorox right clorox is in an undeniable bullish trajectory okay so you should only be looking for buy-in opportunities okay i'm a counter trend player at times we have successfully entered and exit the Clorox market with short positions. We do have lower price targets for Clorox. Um, and if we zoom in a little, if you notice, right here at the top, please follow, kindly follow me on the screen here. Uh, June the, sorry, what is that? August the 2020 is when at the highest point of Clorox, it reached as high as $237. Ever since that level, it has been walking down the stairs. It's something that we notice as well as a few other things. And for that reason, Clorox has not been making new highs. It's only been making new lows. So we're looking for an entry to bet against said market. Okay. So that's the reason why we are looking to bet against it. But again, the bullish thumbnail is not clickbait. We are looking for a move higher over the next three weeks, followed by a move lower. So here's what we're going to look for if we will actually re-enter this market to the downside. So within this range, 135 up to 144, we're gonna look for weekly candles, okay? We're gonna look for wicks above the candles' bodies. It may take a little bit longer than three weeks, so don't hold me accountable for the three weeks threshold as soon as the three weeks expires and then start showing. No, we're very particular in how the candles are shaping the weekly candles and then we crank it on down to the daily candles to see how things are shaping out and then determine whether or not we're looking at the daily candles now uh whether or not we actually re-enter the market okay so we just got to play it one day or one week at a time and see if we'll re-enter but for now we're look we're seeing bullish uh price targets in this market okay up to the range that we just explored all right so in a nutshell don't worry about the the bearish case scenario just look for buy-in opportunities in your sim account this is not a buy recommendation not financial advice okay uh within those range okay so that's what we're seeing guys so let me know in the comment section how this plays out within the next three weeks and hopefully stop and give you guys an update if we have decided to bet against said market so that's all i have out as one back test let me see one one last thing guys the raise an eyebrow level, you know, we guys got to give you that. So that would be a 129. So if any point over the next three weeks, there's a, a, tr a retracement, okay? You know, because of course, if ever we come out with a bullish video, it's always does the opposite, right? So if there's a back test, short back test, maybe like two to three day window of a quick back test and a move higher, that's fine. $129 would be the level that I would seek as a potential 
launch pad or landing pad or soft landing, whatever you want to call it, that'd be the level 129 with a move higher up to and possibly through the 135 level. Okay, so yeah, let's play this one a day and a week, days and weeks at a time and see if we can reach that 135 level and take it from there, okay? So let me know down in the comment section, what are you guys seeing? Are you seeing higher prices? Are you guys bearish on this stock? And uh, yeah, let's get a conversation going. So that's it in this video. Hopefully it's enough information. So if you don't mind, do me a huge favor before you go by uh, simply leaving an appropriate thumb. I'd appreciate it on the video if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote the video on a channel. Thank you for your continued support. If you guys are new, we also explore the alternative market, Bitcoin for now, so you can kindly join us here on this interesting journey. And we'll send that out to you momentarily. Welcome in. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your time. Remember to always have a strategy before you enter the market. Keep that positive energy flowing. We'll talk soon and bye for now, guys and gals.